Miko Brando, the son of the late actor Marlon Brando, spent much of the last 20 plus years at Michael Jackson's side. He was our guide, taking us through Neverland Ranch. Miko, you've spent a lot of time up here. This place is so big that obviously this isn't just for decoration. This train station was a real train station with a real train. Real train, steam, steam engine train, large one. Uh, he had used it for years to get from, from the residence up to, um, up to the theater and, and, and the zoo. Which is about a quarter mile away. Above this fireplace, Nico, Miko, was there a tribute to Catherine. There was a, a plaque there that he had made uh, for his mother because he named the train after his mother, the Catherine. So the train was actually called Catherine. <laughs> the, uh, yeah, a lot of people would come up here just to hang out. You were telling me earlier because, of course, there were, uh, as there are around the entire compound. Before you'd reach the, the train, you'd stop here and have your cappuccino if you want, uh, ice cream, candy, uh, candy apples, all the candy you could think of before you'd ride a train over to the theater. Michael would put on videos uh, put on, on each of the uh, monitors, would be the same video. He'd put videos and cartoons, whoever wanted could sit here and watch them on all these screens and sit here and eat your candy, eat your, well, you know, all, all the sweets you'd want. And the kids would just hang out here and watch videos all night long. And uh, this is just a minuscule part, obviously, of the compound here. One small uh, portion of it where people would come and hang out. The outside, uh, here's where the train would come through, Miko, and uh, the marks, you say, uh, sort of show how much it was used, huh? Correct. That just shows you how much steam went through un underneath there. And every time you'd, you'd uh, blow the whistle, that would, you know, that would have the effect on the, on the brick right there. You say Michael used to... Do yeah. <laughs> Blow the whistle, yeah, right there, and make it loud. You could hear it over the whole valley. You could hear it over the whole property. Once that whistle went, you knew the train was here. Then he took us inside the 13,000-plus square foot house Michael Jackson lived in. One of the things you see around here is the Sycamore logo because Michael Jackson bought this uh, pretty much intact in terms of the main house. Correct, correct. Yeah, this was the logo of the... Uh, previous owner, it was called the Sycamore Valley Ranch. So all over the property you see these, these little sycamore trees. And you say that Michael first stayed here when he was working on a video with Paul McCartney. He, was just, he just came here and was basically put here. And you say you just couldn't get it out of his, his, his mind. Correct. He stayed here when he was doing the Say, Say, Say video. And uh, he, he enjoyed it. He liked it. He, he wanted to, to, to buy the property. Then we went on tour. And during our tour, 88, the bad tour, he had bought the property and said, hey, Miko, I got the ranch. <laughs> the ranch. Uh, this room is what? This is the living room. The uh, piano used to be over here with a bunch of photos on the piano. A castle he had built sitting over here. Uh, living room chairs, uh, furniture, sofa, the TV on the wall. Uh, he had a beautiful marble front here in front of the fireplace. He had the Oscar that he got that was standing on the right side of the fireplace. The Oscar from? Gone with the Wind. Gone with the Wind that he right. apparently paid one point some million dollars for. Yes, sir. Inside the house, 13,000 square feet. Miko, you say that this was a spot like any family. Uh, this was the spot where you hung out. Yeah, this was the, the, the focal point of the house, I think. We would all meet here. My father would eat here. Michael would eat here. Everyone would meet here. We'd watch TV with a fireplace here, sit here on the bar stool here with a, with a kitchen full of food, video games here on the table, uh, a flat screen TV here on the wall. We had a nice furniture. Everything was very warm. Music. You said, you said your your father, you and Michael used to sit at the right. table over there, there for hours. There's, there's a round table here. I think we're about six or eight chairs. I think eight chairs. And we used to always have our meals here, most of our meals here, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. If we changed it, we'd eat somewhere around the property. But this was basically where we would all meet and talk about our day here at Neverland. As for Michael Jackson's bedroom, you're looking at the doors, and you can see the uh, locks on the doors. Miko, uh, privacy was key in this room, obviously. Yeah, he liked his privacy. When, when the doors were open, you know, it was okay. But when he locked, he wanted his privacy. He had his privacy.
This is one of the bathrooms. Uh, there are two bathrooms in this suite, and this is the area where Michael Jackson also slept sometimes. There's a staircase up there and a small bedroom upstairs. You say he slept uh, on both levels. Yeah, he slept wherever he felt like sleeping. He'd, he'd crash out, so he had a choice of two. All right, let's swing around here. This is a massive uh, bedroom suite. Let's get to all of it. Out the here is the view. It's gorgeous. You were married out there. Obviously, uh, uh, it doesn't get much better than that for a, a view outside your room. No, we had a great we, There was a gazebo out there by the tree. We got married there. Everyone was out there. It was beautiful. The flowers, the grass, everything was just immaculate. When you look at the house now, Miko, it is unfurnished, obviously. Uh, give us a sense how different it was fully furnished. Oh, it was the place. I mean, I've seen a lot of houses in my life, but this was the, this was, this was the house. There's been a lot of talk about this closet. It is massive, and in the corner of it is a secret compartment or secret little area. And, Miko, you said this was sort of a safe room just in case. Yeah, this was just some place, you know, in case something ever happened. It would be where um, he'd go. For you coming back here, what are you feeling? Numb. Numb that I wish he was here and I wish he'd, you know, he'd yeah, just, yeah, numb. Ted Rollins, CNN at the Neverland Ranch.